Hey Sagittarius, it is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the second half of January. This will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This is general. It's not going to resonate with all of you Sagittarius out there. Do check your other placements, your Moon, Rising, or Venus. Alrighty, so let's definitely hop straight in. Let's see what's coming in for you guys in love for the second half of January. Alrighty, let's see. Messages for Sagittarius in love. Let it be great. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, do subscribe. Hit that notification bell, Sagittarius. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com, or you guys can check the description box below. All right, so let's hop in and let's see what's going on. Do ignore the date in the back. Today is the 16th as I'm recording. Yeah, today is the 16th. All right, I'll change that in a minute. So let's see, let's hop in at Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love. What's going on with Sagittarius? All right, so when it comes to the heart of the matter, we have the Seven of Swords coming up in reverse. The energy around this relationship, Ace of Wands. The person you're dealing with and where their mind is at, the Hermit. Their current feelings towards you, Queen of Swords. What they want from you, the Tower. What is yet to unfold? The sun. Potential outcome, five of swords reverse. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the page of pentacles. All righty, so it looks like whoever you guys are dealing with, Sagittarius, um, it looks like you guys are going through a lot of stuff in the past. It looks like someone is finally ready to like confess and come clean and be honest with you and possibly start over is what I'm getting here. Because we have the sun, that's very great, that's positive, that's the most positive card in the deck. We also have the hermit here, so I feel like someone's, you know, really taking some time to really think about things, go within. The tower is here as well, okay? So I feel like with the tower being here and just some of the energy, energy that I'm seeing, whoever you're dealing with, it's like, they're kind of like, okay, what happened in the past, it didn't work out. Let's just let it crumble and fall down and let's rebuild and start over because we have the page of pentacles. So someone in this relationship, whether it's you or the other person, feels like it's kind of best if you guys just start over. Like, you know, like clean slate, new beginning, start over and just rebuild the whole relationship back up. Or like just rebuild the relationship and not base things on the past and what happened or what you guys been through is what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and hop in and let's see what we got, alrighty? We're starting out with the Seven of Swords coming up in reverse. So air energy, you guys can be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Seven of Swords in reverse is someone coming clean, confessing, someone speaking some truth. So like the truth coming out, okay? I feel like you guys have been waiting for this person to speak some truth. You've been waiting for this person, you know, to be honest with you or tell you something. I feel like you kind of knew what was going on. But you wanted to hear it from their mouth, okay? So let's see why the Seven of Swords is coming up in reverse. And this is the heart of the matter. All right, let's see. We have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, we have the Seven of Cups coming up in reverse, okay? So this is someone that is no longer confused. This is someone that has made a decision. They're no longer in their head. And yeah, I feel like this person is no longer in their head. I feel like they're no longer confused. They know what they want. And that's what they're going to talk to you about or want to talk to you about. There could have been like other people involved. Maybe they were talking to multiple people, but it's like the seven of cups coming up in reverse, seven of swords in reverse. This looks like someone that's ready to speak some truth and it looks like they've made a decision and they know how they want to move forward because we have this ace of wands here and this is the energy around the relationship. So it looks like with this ace of wands, um, someone wants a new beginning, but this is like a new fiery, passionate beginning. Okay. Um, with this ace of wands. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like whatever you guys are doing in the past is like someone wants to bring the relationship back together, but like in a more fiery, passionate way. Okay. So let's see how this ace of wands is here. This is the energy of the relationship. Let me see about the ace of wands here. We have the king of swords coming up in reverse. Now, king of swords coming up in reverse. Again, more air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like whoever you guys are dealing with, this person has been kind of distant they haven't been saying much 
this king of swords has been keeping things to themselves. The moon is here. They're coming up in reverse. This person wants this new beginning more than anything, but they're either lying to you about it, they were lying to you about it, or they were coming off as if this was something that they didn't want and they really do want it with this king of swords in reverse because the ace of wands is here. Or I feel like for some of you guys, it's like when you guys are around each other or when you guys come, you know, together or when you guys are together, um, you guys do have sex. Ace of Wands is here. And you may feel like this person only thinks about that, but I don't really feel like that. Not with this energy here. I feel like this person wants to say more. They want to tell you more, but they're in reverse. So they're not really saying that. They're not really speaking up. And I feel like it's because they don't know how you feel. Or I feel like this person, I'm, I don't feel like they're trying to keep you in your feelings, but I also see, I also um, feel like this person is trying to see how things are going to play out and if there is a chance for you guys to come back together because we have the Queen of Swords and that's in their feelings towards you. But I kind of feel like this energy here and now seeing the King of Swords reverse with the Queen of Swords, this is a relationship and you're waiting to hear this person out, but they may feel like you're upset, you're angry, you're mad. So they're kind of distant. They're not really saying much. Or like I said, when you guys are together, it's like there's intimacy. You guys are interacting, you know, physically, like sexually and stuff like that. But that's it. So let's, I want to go into this King of Swords reverse. Let's see how the King of Swords is coming up in reverse. Why is the King of Swords reverse? See the Ace of Wands reverse. See, that's what I'm saying. There's some type of delay. There's some type of setback in this new beginning. And it has to do with the King of Swords reverse. So, yes, and look, the Six of Cups is in reverse. It's all about the past. I feel like this person wants to start something new with you, but there is definitely some type of delay here and it's because of them. They're not saying nothing and I definitely feel like it's because of the Queen of Swords being here. Because this would be you guys' relationship. This would be you and this other, like this would be you and the person that you're dealing with. So I'm, like you guys really need to clear the air and like have a talk or talk about something because whoever you're dealing with, they've already made a decision how they want to move forward. And for most of you, they want to come back towards you. But there's a lot of past issues or past things that are stopping or blocking this relationship from moving forward. So let's go into the Hermit um, Virgo energy. You guys can be dealing with a Virgo as well. Um, and this is where their mind is at. So someone's definitely going within, soul searching, taking some time to think. Um, so let's see why the Hermit is here. Go into the Hermit. The Five of Cups. Yeah, see, someone has regrets. And someone is in their feelings. And we have the Six of Wands here. And I feel like for some of you guys, like I said, this King of Swords reverse, they could have been doing some soul searching. You know, or they were talking to multiple people. And I feel like they really wanted to be with you. But for some reason, I felt like they felt as if something was missing or like someone just could have been used to this talking to multiple people. I don't know. But it's like the energy that I'm getting and feeling is that they're having regrets and they feel bad because... With the Six of Wands here, they knew they had the opportunity to move this relationship forward. Or, like, they know that this relationship could be a success. Like, they see you guys moving forward and, you know, actually having a relationship. Seven of Pentacles is here, but we have the Ten of Wands reverse. I also can... Okay. So, this person is in their feelings. They're having regrets about the past. Let's go into the Seven of Cups reverse because I want to see, okay, why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Because they're coming clean about something or they're confessing something to you or like this person finally realizes that you're the one and they're tired of being deceptive. Like the Seven of Swords reverses and like no longer wanting to be deceptive anymore, no longer wanting to lie, cheat, whatever they were doing before. It's like they're putting an ending to that, okay? Um, yeah, I see the Emperor in reverse. So we have the Emperor in reverse. I'm not taking all those. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. This person feared commitment. Okay. You're the person that this... Okay, so the person that you're dealing with, they want to commit to you. Okay, but Emperor's coming up in reverse. This person had a hard time compromising with you or seeing things your way. And now they regret it. And that's how the King of Swords is coming up in reverse with the Ace of Wands. They want this more than anything, but they kind of act like they don't want it at times. Because they don't know how you feel or it's because of the way they made you feel. Okay, so I hope I'm not losing you, Sagittarius. And then it's like now where their mind is at, they're in their head, but they're also like in their feelings. They're having regrets now with this um, hermit here in the Five of Cups because 
they feel like this may not come back together or they feel like if they come clean or confess and tell you what was going on or what they did or if they tell you like oh you know like i'm tired of being the emperor in reverse like i don't want to you know lie and cheat and be back and forth anymore i really want to be with you they feel like you're not going to take them serious because i feel like this is someone that has played games one too many times so let's go into this five of cups and see what this is about why is the five of cups here yes yeah, so the nine of cups in reverse they feel like this isn't possible they feel like they're not going to get wish fulfillment in this anymore they feel like you don't want to commit to them anymore. You don't want to be with them anymore because they let you down. This person was very, um, like, this person was um, egotistical, okay? Or, like, their ego got in the way. Or this is someone that is, like, really confident or, like, they're, like, a ladies' man or they get a lot of attention um, or just someone that always makes it about them with that nine of cups reverse. And now they're realizing and seeing that they were getting all the attention or, they're realizing like how they acted towards you within this relationship or in their relationship and now they're in their feelings about it and they're having a lot of regrets and they do want to start something over with you but they don't know if you're gonna you know allow them back in like that even though you guys i feel like still may talk see each other have sex with each other and stuff like that um for some of you guys all right so let's see how the queen of swords is here oh and this is in their current feelings towards you so let's see how the queen of swords is here yeah, so the page of wands reverse, they think you're going to be mad or upset. So this is the one that wants to communicate with you or tell you something, but they think you're going to be upset because the page of wands reverse would be like bad news, rash communication, um, you know, like you getting loud with them or possibly going off, someone being like smart mouthed or something like that. And they feel like that's how you're going to come at them or they feel like um, that's how you're going to respond or react to what they have to say. Let's see how the page of wands reverse. Yeah, see the eight of swords reverse. But I feel like with this energy here, I feel like this person just needs to get out of their head, out of their head, and just say what they have to say. Okay, I see a talk coming in or like some type of conversation coming in anyway, and I see them coming clean and confessing. I just feel like this person kind of feels like you're going to reject them, or you just want to move on, or you don't want the relationship anymore. But I really do feel like you want the relationship, Sagittarius. I feel like you want them to speak up and speak some truth and come to you with an offer. Because I feel like you've offered so much in the past and you said so much in the past that you're not you're no longer gonna overthink this anymore. I feel like you're getting out of your head. I feel like you do wanna probably go off or you may say something that is, you know, like smart mouth or get smart, but I feel like it's because they're not speaking up. You guys are waiting for them to communicate with you and they want to, but then they feel like you're gonna let them down or reject them. But at the same time, it's like the Ace of Wands is in reverse, so I kind of feel like this person, if they don't take action or approach this situation with this Eight of Swords reverse, I feel like that's going to push you guys to like really move on and get out of your head and kind of get over them because they're not taking action the way you want them to. Like they're, they're not coming towards you with anything or saying anything. Like I said, even if you guys are seeing each other, I don't really see them saying much, but I do see, I do see them um, coming clean or confessing something to you or telling you something or wanting to tell you something. So let's go into the tower because this is um, what they want from you. Could be a Scorpio you guys are dealing with. So let's see how the tower is here. Go into the tower. The king of wands. Some of you guys can be dealing with another um, fire sign. The king of wands is determined the king of wands is all about the future the king of wands is an action taker they go after what they want and we have the tower here so what they want from you we have the king of wands with the tower let's see we have the three of swords that would be you so and we have this ace of cups so this person whoever you're dealing with they want you to open your heart back up to them again or they want you to be able to, like I said, let go of things that happened to you guys in the past and be open to rebuilding this relationship because the Three of Swords will be someone from your past that hurt you. And I feel like the King of Wands is your energy and you're looking at the tower. And I feel like you're trying to move on, you're trying to move forward, but there were some things that happened in this relationship that you just can't get over, that haven't settled with you yet. Like, you know, like you're still thinking about it. It's still in your energy. You're just like, I can't believe this happened. So part of you is still heartbroken or torn over what happened. For some of you guys, this could have been a third party situation. But I just feel like what they want from you is they want you to look past that. Because that King of Wands is staring at that tower. And we have the Three of Swords. So 
this lets me know like you're still heartbroken over something. You're still, you know, upset about something that they did. So let's have the three of swords is here. The two of wands. For some of you guys, there was someone else involved. Okay. And I feel like this person could have moved on and committed to someone else and didn't commit to you and you found out and that's what made you upset. For others of you, it's because with the higher font on reverse, they just weren't committing to you and it was an open relationship. Okay. So there could have definitely been a third party situation. For others of you, it's like this person wants you to be open minded and understand where they're coming from or they want you to understand their situation because we have the emperor reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with someone that's already in a commitment, that's already married or that, you know, is trying to come out of a relationship and now they made up their mind and they know what they want now. And it's like, they want you to understand where they're coming from. So Sagittarius, this is going to be big for you guys because I feel like you guys have a lot to say. I feel like you guys um, have a lot to think about. Because I feel like this person, like, even though they feel like they're going to reject them and there's some regrets, I just still see this person trying to approach this situation, this relationship, um, and they're trying to move it forward. They do want to have a talk because we have the five of swords coming up in reverse, and that's a potential outcome. So they, I, there's going to be a talk. So from now until the end of January, someone is going to talk. You guys are going to talk about this, okay? Um, so let's see why the sun is coming up because um, this is what is yet to unfold. So the sun is really great though. Um, this can be a Leo you guys are dealing with. Why is the sun here? Go to the sun. See the lover's card. I feel like this is something that's going to come together and work out. But both you guys have been silent or both you guys haven't been saying what you feel. Like you guys are needing to really open up and express yourself and be honest with each other. Why is the lover's here? Yeah, see the five of swords reverse. That's what I'm saying. See, see, you want to let go of the past. They want to let go of the past. Both you guys are kind of wanting to move out of the past or let go of the past. But I feel like what you're really wanting and waiting for Sagittarius is them to come clean with you and be honest with you about the past or why something happened or why they did something or why something didn't work out or why something didn't come together. There, I keep getting why. I feel like you're like, why this? Why that? Why this? Why that? Okay. But then, like I said, for some of you guys, there's another relationship here, okay? So let's see how the Five of Swords is coming up in reverse for the potential outcome. Why is the Five of Swords reverse for Sagittarius for the potential outcome? Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yes, yeah, so the potential outcome. This is you guys talking about why the relationship didn't work out. And that's what you guys are going to have to talk about. Because there's, there's reasons, I feel why this relationship didn't work out. I feel like it's more than one reason. I feel like there's reasons. So you guys are going to have a talk about this relationship and why it didn't work out, why they didn't commit to you, why you guys didn't come together, you know, stuff like that. Once to the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I see the Six of Swords. Someone had moved on. Someone could have moved. Someone could have relocated. Someone could have traveled or um, took like a job opportunity in another state for some of you guys. So this could be long distance and this person is going to come your way or you're going their way. But I'm also getting like this relationship or the situation between you guys is you guys broke up and someone moved on. But it's like you guys keep coming back to each other. Or this person keeps coming back to you. You keep going back to them. And that's what you guys are going to talk about. And I feel like this talk and the truth coming out, that's going to be like, that's how the sun is here with the lovers and the five of swords. Is our love strong enough to move on? Are we, are we at that point where we can move forward now? Do we see a relationship? So that's what you guys are going to be talking about. That's what's going to be happening. Um, let's see. We have the page of pentacles here. This is the overall energy. All right. So let's see how the page of pentacles is here. And this is the start of something new because the page of pentacles is coming in with an offer. Okay. So starting over, some type of offer coming in. Why is the page of pentacles here? Temperance reverse. Yeah, I see someone wants to come out of separation. That's your energy, Sagittarius. They want to come in and offer you something. You guys may clash, okay? There may be some disagreeing, disagreeing here because we have temperance in reverse. You may disagree with what they're offering you. Um, let's see why I have temperance coming up in reverse. Six of cups in reverse. And we have the devil. Some of you guys are dealing with someone and they have like a karmic partner or they're in a toxic situation. And you guys are going to talk to them also about that. Like, are you over the past? Are you ready to really move on? Are you ready to come out of separation and be with me? Are you just coming back because you guys aren't getting along or because you guys separated? So, yeah, I feel like um, 
you guys definitely need this talk, okay? And I feel like the truth is coming out. I feel like this person is finally going to speak some truth and tell you what was really going on, okay? So let's pull some romance angels for you, um, Sagittarius, and see what we got. And then after that, we'll do some spirit messages. So yeah, we have express your love. It says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So someone wants and needs to express their love to you. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So someone hasn't been honest. Someone has been lying. Someone has been holding back their feelings. For some of you guys, there was definitely a third party. See, we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And that could be why the devil was there. Maybe they're in some type of codependent relationship. Because we have the emperor in reverse with the ten of pentacles. Maybe it's about money, finances, you know, divorce. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify the romance angels and then I'll post some spirit messages. All right, so we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. See, and this is telling me that someone wants to express their love to you, but they're in a codependent situation or there's codependency because they've had you waiting, okay? And there's been deception in the situation. So express your love. Let's see. Our love was too intense for me to handle. I needed to break away. So the connection is intense between you and this person. So intense that they had to break away from the connection. And that's why the King of Swords is coming up in reverse with that Ace of Wands reverse. Like, there is a lot of feelings, passion, chemistry, um, also past life energy between you guys. And they maybe have felt like this relationship is just too much for them to handle. All right? With deception, we have, I know we've been together in past lives. Didn't I just say you guys had a past life connection? I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. See? And that's why there was deception. This person couldn't let you go. They recognized you. They knew who you were. They knew that there was a connection. Um, and so they did whatever they had to do to, you know, keep you waiting or holding on or open to them. And that's where the deception, you know, was. Like, that's where it was. And then, like I said, for others of you, they had another relationship. Okay? So we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And we have, you brought out the best in me. I came alive in your presence, okay? So I feel like with this Sagittarius, you made this person want to be better. And that's why with the Seven of Swords reverse, they're wanting to come out of their deceptive ways. They're wanting to come clean. They're wanting to be honest. They're no longer wanting to lie. Seven of Cups, they're ready to just be with one person, settle down. They made their decision. And they could have been in, like, they could have had, like, a codependent relationship or yeah I feel like this person was like in a codependent relationship but I feel like when it came to you you became codependent because you waited for them you know or you waited for them to change all right so let's pull some spirit messages and that would be a reading all right spirit what message do you have for Sagittarius second half of January Sagittarius we have Cup of replenishment, love it. Number 16, gold, all right? So kind of like the Ace of Cups, all righty? So loving this. So it's time for you guys to fill that cup back up with your love. Fill that cup back up with love, okay? This can also be like some type of new emotional beginning, some type of new beginning, but this is love. This is like beautiful, something that is, this is great. The infinite symbol is above it, okay? So this can be this new emotional beginning between you guys, and the cup is gold, so I feel like whatever is in this cup, it's beautiful, you know? So whether it's new love or you fixing this relationship or you filling your own cup back up with your love, whatever it is, it's going to be amazing, okay? So we have love from your parents. No matter what your mother and father... Oh, no, it says no matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can, okay? So if you guys are wanting to know how your parents feel towards you, or if you're missing them, just know that they love you and they loved you as much as they could or can, okay? So no matter what, just know that they are there with you, around you, and for you, okay? So those are your messages, Sagittarius, for the second half of January. I love you all. I will be extending this reading. Alrighty, on the other side, I'm going to see um, what they are hiding from you, what you are needing to know. What does this person want to tell you? Their true intentions, the future communication between the two of you guys. I'm going to see what can stop or block this from moving forward and how should you proceed as far as moving forward. All right. I love you, Sag. That is your reading. Bye, loves.